boy Seed here at the Turtle, you know, doing what we do. He's gonna have a, a quick shout out. Once again, Sam Adams. You're doing good things over here, Sam Adams. Sam Adams! October Fest coming your way. But right now, we're gonna get back to our random question for today. The question is, if you're at the bar by yourself, does that make you an alcoholic? We're gonna take it to the streets on him. My man, Hulk Hogan with the mustache. What's your name, man? Chris. Chris? We got Chris here. We're gonna ask him, Chris, do you think if you were drinking at the bar by yourself, does that make you an alcoholic? Or the flip side to that is if you drink every night with a group of friends, is that alcoholism or social drinking? Chris, take it away. Alright, I think with a group of friends it's social drinking. Okay. And uh, I think I think it really have to be depending on what you're doing at the bar by yourself. Do you mean like at the bar by yourself as in you're just taking shot and shot and shot by yourself or you're just guzzling by yourself or if you take a, a casual like two beers by yourself at the bar is that alcoholism? No, I don't, no, two beers no. Okay, so according to Chris here we got maybe if you're by yourself at the bar it's not alcoholism if you're taking it nice and slow and easy but on the other hand if you're with your friends also drinking maybe it's also not alcoholism. So it's, you know, is it socialism? Socialism? Yeah. yeah. Social alcoholism. <laughs> socialism. We're onto something here. Oh, wow. That's the definition of socialism. It's social drinking all the time. So